What's up everybody, this is James Eldridge here and I want to do a quick tutorial video here on how to retouch or sorry re-soften um, harsh skin highlights using Photoshop. Now we have the lovely Lee Sinden here and I wanted to go back over this picture from uh, February 2013 and rescue it because it's such a good picture I wanted to go back and change it. It was a little bit too contrasty in my first image my first time around the posting it so we went back and changed it the only problem is is that there was quite a lot of skin highlights blowing out on the brow on the bridge of the nose and on the cheeks and it was just it was wasn't sitting well with me so using photoshop we've changed it I'm gonna, this is the before and i'm going to show you the effect and then we're going to show you how to do it and this is what we want to aim for where there's a nice skin color across the entire face Everything's blending, nothing's blowing out, nothing's being washed out, and overall it looks a lot more pleasing. So I'm going to deselect that. So when you have a base layer, uh, you normally duplicate it and have a second layer to work on. I'm going to head up to your levels adjustment, select that, and you want to change the blending option to multiply. This will give the um, effect of very contrasty, but this helps bring out the highlights for selection. Then you want to hit your base layer again, go over to select and color range. It should be highlighted at in highlights anyway. Um, if not, you can select it, it's very simple. It normally goes to around 20% default. Um, once you've done that, select OK. This will take a second to uh, select the uh, highlights. Once it's done, in a mo or in a lifetime or however long it wants to take, come on, there we are. It selects the image or selects the highlights. Now we want to go to select and inverse. Once we've done that, you want to head over to your layer mask which should already be automatically applied go over to image adjustments and invert now this will paste it into the uh, layer mask but as you can see you can quite clearly see where the outline of this selection has taken place now we need to feather this out and lucky enough there is a button that feathers it out funny enough it's called feather so you want to select that and you want to bring it to a, probably around 150-ish just to start. It's all down to preference on this. You can take it all the way to a thousand and you basically have a image that you started with. Um, all bit, just a couple of uh, the edges are a bit tinged um, with a bit more contrast. All you want to do is you want to say bring it to around 150 but again it is all down to preference. Um, once you're there, let go of the button and you have nice, perfect, in my opinion, skin. Um, again, we'll show you before and after. Harsh, blown out, a bit washed out skin. Nice, even skin tones. Nice overall image feel. No detail being lost and overall works better. So, there was my quick tip. I hope that was of some help. I'll catch you on the flip side.